everyone. I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief on this Tuesday. The fifth annual Cayman Islands Digital Economy Conference was held on Wednesday. Sponsored by the Ministry of Investment, Innovation and Social Development, the theme is Remodeling the Future. Parliamentary Secretary Catherine Ebanks Wilkes gave the welcome address on behalf of the Honorable Minister Andre Ebanks on the topic the role of innovation in social mobility. The Ministry of Investment, Innovation and Social Development is looking in part at how technology and social development intersect, creating opportunities that can help our people economically and socially by giving our people more robust and varied prospects for sound, stable employment, positive social and community engagement, and restorative recreation. In other words, the public sector fully intends to make the lives of those who we serve even better through the smart and wise use of technology. Recently, we've had a number of wins that have made huge differences for those using particular government services. Since last December, residents seeking economic assistance from the government have saved time and money because of technology technological enhancements to the Needs Assessment Unit. A new online service and website means that persons don't have to visit NAU's office as often, and they can securely prepare their applications online at their convenience. Ian Tibbetts, Director of eGovernment within the Civil Service, also presented to attendees on the topic of what's next, an update on the status of this major initiative and the next steps. The CDEC conference brings together global and local experts for an event showcasing new ideas and applied technological advancements for leaders in both the private and public sectors. Now, throughout the day, there were panel discussions and other presenters at the biggest technology event held in the Cayman Islands. Well, it's that time of year when the Ministry of Education, through the Early Childhood Care and Education Unit, are assisting eligible children so they're able to attend registered early childhood centers. Dabra Baden from the ECCE unit explains more. ECAP is for qualifying Caymanian children who are three years old before September 1st of the academic year, which funding is to be paid. ECAP applications are reviewed by the Oversight Committee for eligibility, but to be eligible, a child is or will be three years old by September 1st, 2022, which means the child's date of birth would be between the 1st of September 2018 to the 31st of August 2019. Um, they have proof of right to be Caymanian. Parents' income bracket falls within the financial means testing criteria, and the parent submits all required documentation and a completed application form. There are some situations where they may be eligible through extenuating circumstances, and these are listed on page two of the application form. Documents needed to get the early childhood funding includes a government ID and proof of right to be Caymanian, just to name a few items. Now, potential applicants are encouraged to get in their, get in their completed applications by June 30th to avoid any delays. The Cayman National Cultural Foundation is excited to bring back its popular summer camp, which aims to engage youth in the visual, traditional, and performing arts, and includes field trips highlighting Cayman's cultural and maritime heritage. This year's camp is being held in partnership with Pan in the Rhythm, and a few scholarships for, camp, for the camp are being offered. Now, for more details, you may contact Melanie, Melanie McField, Director of Programs and Communications. The registration deadline is July the 6th. Turning now to the Tuesday forecast, tonight we can expect partly cloudy skies with a 20% chance of late night showers. Seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. The two-day outlook is for similar weather conditions through to Thursday morning. Now the synopsis calls for moderate easterly winds and seas which are expected to continue across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours as a high pressure system moves over the western Atlantic Ocean. A reminder that you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush inviting you to join us again here on Wednesday evening. Until then, have a safe and of course a wonderful night.
Seek the latest accurate information on COVID-19 only from official sources at gov.ky forward slash coronavirus.